Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle and styling. Today I wanted to do something a little bit different and this is for my ladies who actually are in the process of trying to build quote unquote their dream wardrobe, right? Um, I wanted to talk about some of the things that you should be doing and should not be doing when you are trying to build a wardrobe opposed to having just a closet full of clothes, right? So as a style coach, I do speak to clients about this all the time. When I do their closet purge or the analysis, I notice so many things <laughs> like clothes with tags on them that they haven't worn in months, even years that they purchased when they were shopping a sale or inspiration clothes, guys. You know those inspiration clothes where we're like, hey, I'm gonna lose this last 10 pounds, I'm gonna get into this outfit. Those are all bad, bad things. When you're trying to build a wardrobe, you should always know what your end goal is. And for myself, I'm tall, so we already have like certain struggles that average height women do not have. And that is the best quality clothes, um, tons of brands that cater to us, and finding things that actually fit our frame. So for us, we have to do a little bit more digging when it comes to trying to build a nice wardrobe. Now, as a girl, a girl who is six feet tall, I have not shopped tall girl brands ever. And I've said this before, um, now that I know that they exist, it's just not my type of clothes. Um, so I'm gonna continue to buy things that are from regular brands make them work for me if it's too small of course you know i get things tailored i get things cropped listen <laughs> i don't want to look like everybody else um but you know it's difficult for tall women but still even though i have those struggles building my wardrobe i still keep certain things in my mind so i'm gonna jump right into it guys take notes the first thing is i want to always remember what my and the goal is, how do I want my wardrobe to look? Do I want a certain color aesthetic? Do I want to be able to come in my closet, grab something and go, right? Grab a pair of shoes and go. Do I want that? Or do I want a bunch of trendy items? Trendy items meaning certain colors that are trendy, right? Um, things that may go out next season and I have to replace. Do I want to spend that much money? So. I always say, think about that first. Are you in that place where you want a bunch of trendy things and you want to switch it out every season? If you're not, definitely go the opposite way. Um, the second thing I always say is do, in do inventory on your wardrobe. See what you have. I have tons of stuff here, over here, over there, <laughs> have shoes there. But I always, before I purchase something, Sweaters and shirts and stuff, you're always gonna need, right? Because you can wear your same jeans and skirts, trousers over and over, but the top is different. No one's gonna know that you have on the same bottom. <laughs> so tops and things I always buy, but I'm still cautious about certain things that I buy. Now the shirt that I have on, it is a little bit more in your face and trendy. So you probably won't see me wear this again until probably next year. <laughs> And if I do wear it again this year, I'm gonna wear it completely different. Like, completely different. So this is much more loud opposed to a regular black sweater, right? Um, like I said, you wanna make sure you do inventory. See what you need, see what needs to get out of your wardrobe that does not fit this new style, and keep what needs to be kept. Also, things that are in great condition um, that you actually are not into anymore, like the style, sell it, put it on Poshmark, put it on all these other Macari, all those sites, sell it, right? Um, if you have something in your wardrobe that you love that's too big, get it tailored, all right? So this is a good place to start when you start trying to build that foundation. Foundation is key, guys, So which leads me into your wardrobe essentials. Essentials, you guys, some people call it basics. Essentials are the things that keep your wardrobe functioning, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Functioning, meaning I can come in here, I can grab a pair of jeans, I can grab a white button-up shirt, I can put it on with some pumps, simple outfit with a hat. That is an essential, is that white button-up 
in those denim jeans, right? If you're not into pumps, I'm sure you have some sort of sandal or some sort of booty, something, right? But those two pieces are essential. And guess what? You can definitely wear them a ton of ways. So make sure you're having your, you have your essentials in your wardrobe. If you guys think it was too loud, my air is on. All right, so you have your essentials now. Now you're like, okay, I want to start adding in the pieces that I absolutely love. What do I do? You start browsing around for the brands that cater to you, right? Cater to your style, your new wardrobe aesthetic, right? All brands are not created equally. We know this. If you want to buy things that are more pricey and better quality, you're not going to shop at Fashion Nova. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you are in the middle, middle area, you may do Zara. You may do Mango. You may do who else? Just brands that are like in the medium price range but have decent prices. Decent quality clothes. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna find those brands that you actually like and love. Then you're going to actually go ahead and browse online, create shopping lists, because you're gonna figure out what you do not have and what you need. You're gonna create these shopping lists. Then you're gonna go into these stores or you're gonna order it online. If you have the store in your area, I would recommend going in and trying on a ton of stuff even things you don't think you would like you'd be surprised how certain designers and certain brands make things that just look good on your body so it's just a good idea to go in and just play dress up guys all right so once you have that you play dress up you have your shopping list now you're gonna go shopping for your stuff here's where the strategy and the planning comes into place. Oh gosh, guys. So, think about it like this. Sale shopping, you guys know I'm not for the sale shopping. However, <laughs> if you see any of your essential items on sale and they are a good quality, get them, okay? If there's something that you really want that has been on your wish list for a while, and it goes on sale, get it, okay? Sale shopping does not mean, hey, all of these emails I'm getting, I'm gonna go and buy everything that I see. We're not gonna do that. We're, we're getting out of that, <laughs> that phase and that era. It does absolutely nothing for your wardrobe and it actually makes getting dressed worse, okay? Because you're buying things, got tags on it, you don't wear it. I used to be a person to buy things and because I'm from New York, I never purchased things in like outfits per se, like I wouldn't buy like an outfit. And I'm still that way to this day. <laughs> I'll see like a really nice piece and that's it. And I'm like, I don't know what I'm gonna wear it with. But then when I get home, I have so many pieces that are either essential items or something else. And I'm like, I can put this together, right? So make sure you're buying things that are on sale that are essentials and things that you really, really want. Because if you're buying things on sale just because it's on sale, you're not gonna wear it. All right, so after you get all your items, you've shopped, you've did some little bit of sale shopping for the good things, you have a great, great foundation right now. And now you can organize your closet, okay? <laughs> um, and I don't want this to sound very like, like I'm talking to a client, but or an organized closet really helps, guys. If you have the space for a separate room, do it. If you don't and you just have like a small walk-in closet, Organize it the best that you can make it a place where you feel like you like going into there, right? If you are a New Yorker <laughs> And you have those little small closets Trust me. I had two of them and to be quite honest. This is what I did because it's just a narrow closet You can always get your super because that's what we call them your super to put an extra bar that way you are utilizing your top and your bottom space. If you don't do that, you can add shelves at the bottom. You can put your shoes in there, get rid of your, get rid of your boxes, and just maximize the space, right? Because one thing you don't want to do is have a bunch of clothes and no space to put it. And then what happens is things start to fall down. You don't get to see 
that your stuff fell down, you don't remember what you have, it, sh it happens, right? So try not to be too cluttered with your stuff and only buy things that you're actually going to wear, guys. Sometimes we have a closet full of clothes and never really wear the stuff. I have skirts in here that I have never worn and I bought them from Zara so many years ago. But let me tell you why I haven't worn them. They're really nice. I Oh no, actually I did wear them. I wore one. I wore one. Yeah, I did. The, butt, the zipper is silver, so I'm going to get my tailor. Let me show you guys, actually. I'm not really a silver person, but I was going to get my tailor to come in here and change my zipper. I was going to get her to come in here and change my zipper to, like, I don't know, black, maybe? I don't know. Silver's okay, but I'm not really a silver person. So that's the only reason why I haven't worn this one. <laughs> the other one is a green, and I just kind of made it work. Um, but I don't have too many things that I have not worn, right? And the final, final thing is to start implementing everything and wearing everything. If you learned a style tip along your whole journey, you want to start implementing that, right? Something as simple as rolling up your sleeves, right? Something as simple as a tuck can definitely change the way your outfit looks, all right? Now, I won't say, I will say this, when it comes to like things that are like, like rolling up your sleeves, <laughs> as a tall woman, if I buy something and it's like too short here, I'm going to get it cropped, okay? Because I'm just like, I don't even want to scrunch the sleeves. Let me just make it to a whole nother jacket. Hence why I did that to that Zara jacket, right? And those two leather jackets. Because it was just pointless to me. It was like a little tight and stuff here. So I just had her crop the sleeves and just got creative. So instead of me letting my height work against me, I'm working with my height and making things work for my body, buying things that look good on my body. So this is why I'm not really a trendy person. Well, I've never really been a trendy person because I'm don't. i not into like just buying clothes and then rebuying them over and over. But buy things that work well with your body. I don't know how many times I can say this. Trends are great, guys, but you have to be realistic when it comes to how your body is shaped how tall are you all those things some average height girls can't wear some things from some brands because they make them really large right so we have to get creative and start buying clothes and wearing them how we want to wear them as long as they look good on our body types bottom line is i can't wear something that somebody who is five two wears it's just not going to happen so instead of me trying to mimic someone else's style, I just buy things that work with my body, guys. Super, 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 super simple. So those are my quick little tips, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I just wanted to come on here and help you guys build this wardrobe that you desire, guys. Trust me, I've been there. And I'll pop in a picture somewhere of what I have on today. Um, the sweater is from Sakai. Now... This is a good sale. This sweater was like a thousand dollars. Okay, but let me tell you, it went on. I was not gonna buy it. Like I was not paying my money for that. I just wasn't gonna do it. But I put it in my wish list just just to look at it, right? And it went on sale, like super sale. So that was a win. And then my skirt, you guys can't even see my skirt, but I have on this Frankie shop. I'll pop in a picture. This Frankie shop. Um like that satin patent leather skirt the thing about the skirt is the skirt only has one pocket i've never purchased anything from the frankie shop like that or anywhere it has one pocket the other side has a zipper it's just very very weird um i was feeling all day no pocket but yeah so if you're interested in the skirt just know that when you get it it has one single pocket but <laughs> if you like videos like this please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco, we see you. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY. And guys, you know I have a style blog. I put out articles twice a month now. Um, and it's CocoStylesNYC.com and my style services, CocoStylesNY.com. And you guys know I'm on the TikTok, <laughs> CocoStylesNYC. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.